leather and textile. Similarly, to enhance the competitiveness of exports in the leather and textile sectors, I propose to reduce BCD on real down-filling material from duck or goose. I am also making additions to the list of exempted goods for manufacture of leather and textile garments, footwear and other leather articles for export. To rectify inversion in duty, I propose to reduce BCD subject to conditions on methylene diphenyl diisocyanate MDI for manufacture of spandex yarn from 7.5 to 5 percent. Furthermore, the export duty structure on raw hides, skin and leather is proposed to be simplified and rationalized. Precious metals. To enhance domestic value addition in gold and precious metal jewelry in the country, I propose to reduce customs duties on gold and silver to 6 percent and that of platinum to 6.4 percent. Other metals, steel and copper are important raw materials. To reduce the cost of production, I propose to remove the BCD on ferro-nickel and blister copper. I am also continuing with nil BCD on ferrous scrap and nickel cathode and concessional BCD of 2.5 percent on copper scrap. Electronics. To increase value addition in the domestic electronics industry, I propose to remove the BCD subject to conditions on oxygen-free copper for manufacture of resistors. I also propose to exempt certain parts for manufacture of connectors. Chemicals and petrochemicals. To support existing and new capacities in the pipeline, I propose to increase the BCD on ammonium nitrate from 7.5% to 10%. Plastics, PVC flex banners are bio, non-biodegradable and hazardous for environment and health. To curb their imports, I propose to raise the BCD on them from 10 to 25%. Telecommunication equipment. To incentivize domestic manufacturing, I propose to increase the BCD from 10 to 15 percent on PCBA of specific, specified telecom equipment. Trade facilitation. To promote domestic aviation and boat and ship MRO, I propose to extend the period, of ex period for export of goods imported for repairs from six months to one year. I'll read that again. To promote domestic aviation and boat and ship maintenance, repair and operations, I propose to extend the period for export of goods imported for repairs from six months to one year. In the same vein, I propose to extend the time limit for re-import of goods for repairs under warranty from three to five years. I now move to direct taxes. We will continue our efforts to simplify taxes, taxes improve taxpayer services, provide tax certainty, and reduce litigation while enhancing revenues for funding the development and welfare schemes of the government. It, is, it has been our endeavor to simplify taxation, we have taken a number of measures in the last few years, including introduction of simplified tax regimes without exemptions and deductions for corporate tax and for personal income tax. This has been appreciated by taxpayers. 58% of corporate tax came from the simplified tax regime in the financial year 22-23. Similarly, as per data available till now, for the last fiscal, more than two-thirds have availed the new personal income tax regime. Comprehensive review of the Income Tax Act. I am now announcing a comprehensive review of the Income Tax Act 1961. The purpose is to make the act concise, lucid, easy to read and understand. 
This will reduce disputes and litigation, thereby providing tax certainty to the taxpayers. I will also bring down the demand embroiled in litigation. It is proposed to be completed in six months. A beginning is being made in the finance bill by simplifying the tax regime for charities, tedious rate structures, provisions of reassessment and search provisions, and capital gains taxation. Simplification for charities and tedious. Two tax exemption regimes. The two tax exemption regimes for charities are proposed to be merged into one. The 5% tedious rate on many payments is being merged into the 2% tedious rate and the 20% tedious rate on repurchase of units by mutual funds or UTI is being withdrawn. Tedious rate on e-commerce operators is proposed to be reduced from 1 to 0.1%. Moreover, credit of TCS is proposed to be given in the TDS to be deducted on salary. Further, I propose to decriminalize delay for payment of TDS up to the due date of filing statement for the same. I also plan to provide a standard operating procedure for TDS defaults and simplify and rationalize the compounding guidelines for such defaults. Simplification of reassessment. I propose to thoroughly simplify the provisions for reopening and reassessment. An assessment here and after can be reopened beyond three years from the end of the assessment year only if the escaped income is 50 lakh rupees or more up to a maximum period of five years from the end of the assessment year. Even in search cases, a time limit of six years before the year of the search as against the existing time limit of 10 years is being proposed.